Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to look at how to uh, clip out a part of an image and to, uh, and to make it a different image. Uh, what we're looking at here is Manifold Release 9. All this works in uh, Manifold Viewer as well. And uh, what we have here is a map that has two layers. It has an image layer called Warren Air Force Base, which is this image right there that you see there. And uh, we also have a Bing Street Maps uh, layer in the background that's uh, used for uh, context. What we want to do is uh, we want to uh, clip out just a part of this uh, uh, image right here. We want to clip out roughly this area here, which you can see, which is this storage area here on Warren Air Force Base. And uh, we want to clip out a rectangular version of that. Uh, so uh, let's see how to do that. What we're going to do is uh, first let's uh, take a look at what this uh, Warren Air Force Base image is in the info pane. We can see that it has uh, four channels that are UN8 times four. We only want an RGB image. We're only going to use the first three channels. And we can see that here's the uh, a coordinate system it uses. Uh, in my new image, I want to use exactly the same coordinate system as that. So what I'll do is I'll save that as a favorite. I'll click the coordinate system button, click repair coordinate system, and, and choose favorites here. And uh, control click on that, which is the coordinate system that it uses. Click add to favorites. And here I want to override the metrics. So I want to use the same, exactly the same metrics, same pixel size as the original image. So I'm going to do that. That all looks good. Click OK. I've just added it to, to, to the favorites. So now what I'm going to do is I want to uh, create a drawing here. Create new drawing. And uh, let's use the same coordinate system for the drawing as well. And you can see how easy it is now that I have that as a favorite. Create drawing. I'm going to drag and drop that drawing into the map. And I will create a uh, area for my area of interest. I could create a rectangular area like this, but instead I'll just click out right here, create an area that uh, matches the uh, storage area here using the outer wire, the double wire. This is a storage area where there's about 170 nuclear weapons uh, being stored in that area. So that's a, a very interesting area of interest. Right click and choose Save Changes. So I've just created an area object. Super. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the new image that's going to be my destination image. And uh, click uh, right click into the project pane, choose Create, New Image. And I can name this whatever I want, make it whatever size I want. I'm going to make this a UN times three because I only want three channels. That'll be enough. And for the uh, coordinate system, I'll use this one that I saved as the favorite. And I just create image. Notice it doesn't matter what bounds I make and what size I make because we're going we're gonna to adjust all that automatically. So now I have a destination image that's just a new blank image. And I'm going to uh, double click that, double click it open. And what I'll do is I'll drag and drop the uh, drawing into that image. And now what I'm going to use, uh, with the with the focus on the image, I'm going to use the Edit Join dialog. Uh, and this is a quick little trick that's uh, kind of cool. Uh, I'll use the uh, drawing as a source uh, component and the image as a destination. And what I'll just do is I'll choose Count here. And I can choose any one of these channels. It doesn't really matter because uh, what I, all I'm doing using for the Join dialog for is I'm using the Join dialog to resize the image. Um, and uh, a recently discovered bug, in fact, uh, about uh, 20 minutes ago, is that uh, if you don't click the clear image pixels uh, checkbox here, it doesn't work. You shouldn't have to do that, but uh, until that's uh, fixed, just check clear image pixels, uh, which, uh, which is kind of you want to do anyway to clear whatever is in, in that image cause from what you're bringing in. And, uh, and click resize image. So we're going to use the join re dialog to resize the image. We're going to click join component there. And uh, that's uh, resize the image. We, we don't need that image anymore. But if you like, we can look at it in the info pane and we can see what we have here is a three channel image that's now this size. We've resized it from the previous bounds. The join dialog did that for us automatically. Okay, let's close that image. And uh, now let's uh, go to town. Let's uh, populate that image because we now have a blank, uh, not a blank image anymore. It's now black because uh, we've uh, added some stuff and stuff to it from the join. Uh, that's okay because we're, we're now going to populate what's in this image uh, with, from the Warren Air Force Base uh, image. So with the focus on the image dialog, uh, on the image layer that we've just added, I'm going to click edit, join again. And uh, so this is my destination image here called image and my source image is going to be Warren Air Force Base. And we're just going to double click here and choose copy for all the channels. And it'll automatically match the names of the different channels. So we're basically taking whatever is in channel zero, putting in channel zero from one from channel one to channel one, from channel two to channel two, from the Warren Air Force Base image to this image right there. Click join component, and it's done. And it's that quick. We've just uh, created that image. I'll turn off the Warren Air Force Base layer, and I turn off the drawing layer as well. So now you can see what we've created. We have a, a new image that we've created here, 
and the image is exactly let's move the drawing above that it's exactly you know the rectangular uh, region of tiles that's required to fill in the shape which was uh, covered by this uh, shape that we drew there by in our area of interest uh, the image looks a little funny because uh, we have to style it uh, it comes in using BGR which is by default and the original Warren Air Force base image uses RGB so I'm going to click here in the channel picker the assigned channel picker and choose RGB click update style and that's our image so you can see what we've done here is we've picked out we've clipped out of that larger image uh, the Warren Air Force Base image. I'll turn that off. I'll turn that on. Just to clipped out that part over here into a new image called Image. It's that easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, there's lots more uh, in the other videos. You can do all this in the free viewer. Uh, read up in the user manual to learn how to do more and more. The join dialog is just absolutely fantastic for doing a whole lot of things automatically. It saves you a lot of hassle. You don't have to do it manual, manual stuff. Uh, so uh, I'll learn how to use it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.